Welcome back to another Trucker Tim video. What are we doing now, Sean? Some idiot wants his fifth wheel moving. Well, I need to for the next job I've got on. Well, out again, Cole. Oh, oh. too far. Oh. Oh. You know what this means now, don't you? You know what? we moved the pin on my trailer. We've now got to move the pin back on the trailer. <laughs> back to where it was. I'm going to Silverstone to take a race trailer. That is why we need to move that there. And you just call in and say, quick five minute job. What do you want me? It's 1.8. I think we'll be right there. What are we now? 150. Perfect. Lovely job. Thank you very much. Now I've got a big hole here. You got any catwalk oh, sections? Sure. Yeah, I've just took one off your ass here. That is going for MOT tomorrow. Yeah. She's in here being prepped by Oscar. Look, both of my lorries here at once. Good, isn't it? Well, What's the plan with this one anyway? Oh, pimper up, boy. What like that? Yeah. Are you coming with me or not? Because I want to know. You don't, I don't think you will, so don't I say yes. I don't know. I, I want to, because I don't want to be here. GN64! XXC. I used to drive this on the channel long term. OG viewers will remember this on the channel. What have we got to do? you got to go and get me a bin so I can put some weight on it for MOT. Get in, it'll be like wow. getting back in your home again. Wow. The seat, just as worn as it was when I drove it. Is it just the same as it were? Yep. I was not expecting this today. Back in GN64 XXC. Gonna get a bin on. What is going on? Oh, this brings back memories, guys. Just as noisy as I remember as well. If you're an OG viewer, just get in the comments. You'll remember. New viewers, this probably won't mean anything to you at all, but I used to drive this truck all the time when I worked for Data Shredders, where it all started for me, this whole YouTube journey. We got some truck spotters. <laughs> Trucker Tim! <laughs> Got some lads truck spot in there. I'm coming back in a minute. Hopefully they'll still be there. Well, up this one, it looks better for MOT. I need to remember how to use it. Right, PTO. Arms are out. Unlock. Push back. I really wasn't expecting this today. We have not lost it. We know how to operate the hook loader still. Boom. Locks in. They're in. All right, let's get this back to Sean. Hi, right, mate, you are right? Yeah, you. Get a, have you got this on video? Yeah. <laughs> See you later. job done. What an experience to go back out in GN64 again. Right, that's got the fifth wheel move back on the S-Series. Let's go back to the unit, see how Benjineer's getting on with a front air axle swap and give these wheels a little wash on this because they're filthy. They see me rolling, they're hating. You'll notice your axle's rolling. <gasps> oh my word. Tell you what, Ben, <laughs> you're going to be low. Do you think it's going to be too low? Oh, never. Never too low. We'll have it on the floor. Tom, why am I coming for a bucket and sponge to wash my lorry? Now I'm leaving with a 70 mil spanner. Well, why, why wouldn't you want one? Even just to Look at the size lorry. of it. Ben would like that, wouldn't he? I think Ben would like that. Ben! I've got something for you. You're going to love it. Oh, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that! Look, Look at that. Yeah, we've got a special deal on it. Washing my lorry. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned. Why? Right. Times are hard. Times are hard. Oh, I'm a volunteer again, am I? I do notice a big difference between when you wash your truck and when Dan washes your truck. I've done the other side, go take it out. <laughs> yeah, you've done a real good job around the other side. Thank you. Now I go to Silverstone to the racetrack without a dirty truck coming. That we can't. I'm off. I would leave you with a camera, but you don't do anything if I do, so cheers. See you later. Fifth wheel moved back for the trailer. Truck's all washed. Couldn't find any tyre dressing, unfortunately. Tyres let it down a little bit. We have some merchandise for the guys at EDF Motorsport who we're moving the trailer for. Go in there. So we've got to go get the trailer from out near Long Sutton Way, collect the trailer, meet the lads, 
and then straight across down to Silverstone to deliver it for him because I think they're racing this weekend so <laughs> So I've absolutely no idea what MDF Motorsport race, what sort of car is going to be, what's going to be in the trailer, if it's going to be empty, loaded, but we'll soon find out because we're on our way. We're about 15 minutes away now. So how this has come about is Matt, who we went to Assen with, he see a post online that MDF Motorsport wanted a trailer moving. So Matt put my name forward, then they got in touch with me, blah, blah, blah. Sorted it all out and run away to go get it now. So we get to drive the Arctic into Silverstone, into the pits. This is going to be absolutely awesome. I've always wanted to do this. Obviously just currently bobtailing now, no trailer on. Hope the trailer's all right. I haven't even seen it, but they have told me it's just been for a six weekly inspection and a service, so we should be good. I've just come up on my sat nav, EDF Motorsports, 0.6 miles. I'm pretty sure I've been calling it MDF Motorsport in the video. Sorry, that's a piece of wood. This is a racing team. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yep, way up. Tracker. Thank you. And we're off again. I'm not sure how long it's going to take us to get to Silverstone from here. We'll look at that when we get all hooked up, ready to go. Just around this corner. <coughs> there she is. She's the same colour. It's the same colour as my unit. Let's get backed in. I can't believe it's the same blue as my unit. Yeah. This is what we're taking to Silverstone. That one's going to Brands Hatch. And the car that's in here is absolutely awesome. Look at that. It's a proper car. We'll have a look in there in a minute as well. There's some nice stuff in there. Right, let's get hooked up so we're ready to go. Hopefully we'll get under okay. Looking at it now, I'd never got under there with the fifth wheel where it was. It was back here, obviously you see it's moved it earlier in the video. This is going to be so good. The car that we're taking is absolutely awesome. We'll have a proper look in a minute. Drop the back down a bit. We're on with plenty of clearance. Perfect. Put the clip in. I like how the legs be on this little door here. Now we're all hooked up. We'll make sure everything is secure in here, obviously. Do not want anything falling over. Look at this toolbox. Just want to make sure nothing is going to get damaged. Look at this car. We have got this in the back of our trailer. Let's go underneath so we can get to the front. Oh, do not want this moving, do we? Look at it. Beautiful. Like a little meeting room up on the neck. The S series is actually underneath here and the cab is there. We're backed under this bit. <laughs> this is going to be good. Are we going to eyeball it or do we want to... Do, do want we do it professionally? We should measure it really. Just putting some stickers on the trailer before we leave. New trailer isn't it? It is new to us, yeah. Here's Andy, he's a, a long time follower of Trucker Tim, aren't you Andy? I am um, indeed. Oh, Used to done. watch me at Data Shredders. Oh yeah. There's um, only about 150,000 people watching you right now. Is that all? That's all. Oh, yeah. Andy, should, no you pressure. Should, you should, oh, he's dropped his... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's dropped his... It. Is it already? One. Beautiful. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty straight, that is, as well. I like it. I put that yeah. in my pocket. In Very good. Is it going white, is it, like, to match yeah, this one? Yeah, the trailers are both being painted over the winter, so they'll yeah. both go plain white. Yeah. With just the company name on. Yeah. And any sponsor stickers. Professional. Done. Yeah, well. I might be able to move your trailer a few more times, maybe on some other absolutely, meetings. Yeah, yeah. I look forward well, to that. It's probably be able to stay for the weekend yeah, and have a, watch the race and everything. Absolutely, stay, do, do a bit of racing with us as well. Yeah. I think I need a wee. <laughs> Can we just take note on the video? That wasn't me. <laughs> that was there. That looks quite fresh. Yeah. Uh, we need to climb in the front, shut the office as well. Number plates on, lights are working. That's handy. Oh, out. Andy's in there. I ain't got to do all this when I get to the other end, have I? Because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. No, Martin will be there. Next time we'll have you loaded. Yeah, well, get me yeah. on the whole job. There we 
go. Here, check me brake lights. Yeah. Good, excellent. Got some merchandise. Andy, Hello. got time for you. Got you some goodies, look. Because <laughs> you're such a top fan, Andy. Bless you. There's a mug there as well. Enjoy. Thank you very much. What have we got in here? Do you want to tell us? Oh, what have we got? So, from a 66 Cortina. Yeah. BMW Minis, another BMW. We've got a Gen 2 TCR car. Are you racing these ones this weekend? These are the ones going to Brands. Yeah. They're going to one Brands on, on that one. Hence why I'm here, because you can't drive two trucks at once. No, I've tried it. Uh, that's a, a Gen 2 TCR car. BMW 1 Series. It's got a V8 in it. Yeah, it's got a V8. That's actually for sale at the moment. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, for sale. Is it? I think we take about 32,000 for it. All oh, right. But it's fully race ready. Can we have a look at that? Yeah, that, yeah, is, yeah. that is special, that is. Look at this, guys. This is built in house. You built this? Yeah, this was a road car. Would you mind? I was only joking. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't pay a lot for it. Wow, look at that. That now, is so nice. Yeah. You Love see. the wheels. Yeah. It looks like a piece of paper. Oh, it said your name on it as well, EDF yeah. Motorsport. Yeah. So, oh, that's proper, that is. And this is all infrared. So, so there's no wires? All, no, all, all buttonless, just infrared buttons. There's speed on there, is that GPS, is it? Yeah, the GPS like, speed, we don't have yeah. actual speed, though. Um, I can't yeah. get over the weight of the door. It's like a piece of paper. You can't really get it across on camera, can you? No. Like how just, light it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so light. Wow. How much it weighs? 1,064 kilos. Thousand, about, just about a ton, basically. Yeah. yeah. Five o'clock. Oh my. <laughs> the 330 engine. Yeah. With M3 throttle bodies. Um, racing intake box. Wow. So this is totally built in-house. That's got some history, this, hasn't it? Do you yeah, say? that's um, Adam's <laughs> racing this yeah. at Silverstone next weekend. I can give you a picture of what it looks like altogether, um, but this was raced by Emmanuel Pirro in 1983 <laughs> against uh, Ayrton Senna and Brundle. Well, they, they all raced together, so in the same chassis as well. Before I go, Eddie, just tell me about this car that, I've actually, that I'm actually transporting. Right, the car you've got in there, it belongs to Rick Kerry. Yeah. Uh, Rick Kerry done touring cars a few years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, he's now doing uh, TCR, TCR, which is this year there's two classes in TCR. Yeah. The overall package of TCR UK. Yeah. And then you've got what they call the Gem 1 Cup. Okay. So the Gem 1 Cup is what Rick's doing. He's leading it at the moment. Is he? Yeah. Oh, we've one... got a leading car in the back of my lorry. Yeah, that's well, it. Yeah. on the back of my lorry. Yeah. So he's leading by one point at the moment. It's a bit close. Oh, I suppose. Um, but hopefully we're going to get another brace of wins this weekend. I'm going to be watching. Thank yeah. you very much. No we'll problem see at all. You. I'm going to get this over there for you. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. We'll speak soon. You'll speak soon. We'll yeah. definitely do some more stuff in the yeah, future. Absolutely. Down he comes. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Thank, mate. You. Thank you. Nice to meet you. And you, buddy. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Let's go to Silverstone. <laughs> Look at this. This is proper, this is. I'm well excited about this. Let's get her wound up. She's on. We've got a two hour, 20 minute drive across to Silverstone. In drive and brake off. So as we're driving along, I'm very, very conscious that we've got a very expensive TCR car in the back of the trailer. A little word with Rick Kerry. I love this car. It's absolutely immaculate, mate. Yeah, they do, mate. They um, they take a lot of pride in the car. He had his pipe wide open. <laughs> we can't get into Silverstone until 7 p.m. I'm gonna call into Peterborough Services, get some food, because I'm starving. We're in no rush. Let's take this to Silverstone, drop it off, then bobtail home. This is coaches only, but everyone else seems to park in here, so we will as well. Oh, blue pig. I'm gonna have a break here. Can I get in here to have a look? I can't get in. I want to make sure everything's okay, really. All looks good. <laughs> Does look good with this tray run. We could have afforded to be a little bit closer 
Really, I can really tell the pins right back there. She's swaying around a fair bit on the back end. Had half an hour here, and then we've got to back out. Beautiful. We've been spotted there. <laughs> Bit of night time driving in the S-Series tonight. Oh man, what's happened to the weather? We might get a little bit wet dropping the trailer. Lovely. So when we get here, we've got to drop the trailer at garage 1B, which is on the paddock. I don't know what we're going to get to see, but we'll find out when we get here. We're only 14 minutes away now. It's been a lot of years since I've been here. Silverstone. I have no idea where to go. Self entrance, main entrance, Silverstone Museum. <sighs> main entrance, I suppose. BRSCC. TCR UK. That'll be us. I think this is our man here. Wow, look at this sign. How awesome is that? Cool. Through security. I'm glad someone's come to show us the way in because I would not have a clue. Moment of truth. Is it okay in there? Oh. Wouldn't go in there. <laughs> you wouldn't go in there? No. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm glad you come to watch me in because I've never found this. Let me check. I'll take this for off. I'll forget that otherwise. Oh. I was worried. Ah, uh, we're good. I just had visions of the toolbox being over and all the tools yeah. everywhere. Ah, uh, we're good. Yes. Proper. Get in. She's okay. I'd like to have stayed really and watched the racing, but I can't. There is a deep pit lane. Look at that. So Lewis Hamilton's been up there, hasn't he? Yeah, there's a podium there, look. Wow. Control. Is that control tower? VIP boxes up there. Stick that one down over there by their wall. There? That'll do it there. Is this like a magic box? So you're going to do magic at the weekend? Some Paul Daniels for my next trick. <laughs> Toolbox is here. Spares box. Ah, spares box and axle stands. Is she fully loaded? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> we need to sort out because it's been in the wagon, but it's full. Oh, what are you trying to say about my yeah. driving? <laughs> Pit lane. Hope you bought your wet. Always. Always got your wet. <laughs> nice. More lorries turning up now. Let me get me to my trailer legs. Yep. And there's the trailer. All dropped off, ready for the race weekend. Unfortunately, we can't stay. I'd love to have stayed the whole weekend and watched the racing. And Eddie, who we spoke to earlier in the video, is going to pick the trailer up on Sunday and take it back. It's a shame the weather's so bad. If it weren't raining, they would have uh, unloaded the car tonight, but because it's raining, they said they might as well leave it on and unload it in the dry tomorrow. I've got to stop here and get a picture. Sorry, I'm just getting pictures, sorry. The stuff we get up to these days on the channel. Right, let's go. Got my suspension in the right setting. There we go. Right, let's bobtail back to the yard, into the night. Aston Martin Racing, Formula One team there. Oh yeah, sorry. 
Let's go. So I think we'll call that just a little teaser of what's to come with EDF Motorsport in the future when we move their trader again. We'll stay the whole weekend, film the whole setup process, the race and everything like that. Like we did the Red Bull Soapbox racing. So that's to come. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Like this video as well if you're enjoying it. Hit the subscribe button. We are back. We made it. Oh, bugs on my screen. Tell you what, this has got good reverse lights on it. It's got these ones down the side as well, to light up down here. I wonder where my trailer's gonna sit now we've moved the fifth. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I wonder where my trailer's gonna sit now we've moved the fifth wheel. Is. We'll have a little look at that in a minute, but my truck is telling me I need to do a regen. So let's do that. Functions, particulate filter, generation necessary. Yes. Yes. Regeneration blocked. Not possible. Ah, great. <laughs> ah. That's a bit ridiculous now. We've gone from one extreme to the other. Let's get the S-Series to Sean's, because as you can see on the dash there, we've got a red light on. Oh, Back more... the S-Series. More problems. Hop in, Sean. Hop in. The air con on. Lovely. I've not got a Mercedes. I've got a Scania. Yeah, I know, but it's got Mercedes on it as well. STB was not saved oh, don't surprise me oscar engine malfunction <laughs> yep oh oh now what's up particular filter differential pressure differential? differential pressure sensor oh, oh what's that oh so oh. it could be all of them oh, cylinders oh Particular filter function test or regeneration. There's regeneration because she says she's full. Accelerator must be released. Waiting for the clutch to be closed. Ooh. Here she goes. We're going to do nothing. <gasps> Whoa! She's off. She's away. We could do this with the R series with the pipe open yeah, yeah, for 40 minutes. So I regen it. It sounds like my particular filter's blocked and she just needs a regen. Regeneration is in progress. Don't say a time. No, sometimes it Oh, show us this. So what's happening here then, Sean? You can you can talk us through it. Um <laughs> I'm not sure. Showing us the coolant temperature. It's showing us the NOx there. Mm. Then it's showing us the exhaust temperature before, 332 degrees. Yeah, before the DPF. Then it shows you it in the middle and then it shows you it after. The 338 going in, 284 in the middle bit in the actual DPF and coming out the tailpipe, 250. And that tells you what? It's on. Are you enjoying the revving? I've decided to do it somewhere else or around in the this field. This is where Sean told me to do it. It's in the workshop, isn't he it? He wants to be able to sit in here, Helen, and look over proceedings and make sure everything's being done properly. That's normal because he's sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> what time can me and Sean get this carriage tomorrow, please? You need to be oh. at Needingworth at 11 a.m. Needingworth at 11? Oh. They're going to do it for you. They're going to load it for us. We just got to sit in the cab. Yeah, in the air con. And they are also unloading it all as well. Oh, good. Oh, what a cushy little number. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah. Join us in the next episode to find out how it goes. Yeah, we'll get stitched up. We always do. We always get stitched up. It always goes wrong. If it's something to do with me, it goes wrong. It goes wrong. Oh, yeah. I would like to come in. She's finished and we have no warnings. Spot on. Everything's gone. Fixed it. Fixed it. Cheers, Sean. No problem. Built is in the pipe. Yeah, another drive. grand, I think. Everything seems to be grand. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> I like de dealing in big round numbers. It's one, two, three, four, yeah, five. Grands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Grands, yeah. Oh, this is important, is it? Yeah. You don't need any of that. That's all the work. I can't believe you've just done that. It was not important. That was the weekend's work, all next week's work. This is now the trucker tin board. Never. <laughs> no, 
No, I ain't working for you. Everybody at Romano's now has worked You're for You're quitting. I'm quitting. Sam's quit. Oh, Sean, are you quitting? No, I want pay rise. <laughs> <laughs> the trucker's in board. Jobs. Oh, God. Lovely.